Regarded as one of the toughest motorsport events on the planet, the Dakar Rally pushes man and machine to the very brink of endurance. To reach the finish line at all is a remarkable feat, but to finish in the top 15 is a Herculean effort. And that is exactly what Hero Motorsports Team Rally achieved at this year's strenuous edition, stringing together an incredible result in what ended up in being a fitting tribute to the late Paolo Gonçalves. As the only Indian team at the 2021 Dakar Rally, Hero embarked on the rally carrying the hopes of an entire nation. Now, the limited competitive outings in 2020 due to the pandemic was definitely a challenge. But the team decided to use this downtime to really focus on refining its new bike. Enter the new Hero 450 Rally with an all-new engine, claimed to offer improved top speed and acceleration. It also features chassis updates with a more voluminous fuel tank, improved suspension and cooling system. And a host of other changes to ensure it could juggle the dual roles of covering long strides at a heightened pace in the harsh Saudi Arabian desert. As for its rider lineup, Hero came all guns blazing, fielding an Indian rally ace CS Santosh, 2019 Pan Africa rally winner Joaquim Rodriguez, and 2020 FIM Cross Country Bajas World Cup winner Sebastian Bueller. The all new route for the 2021 edition was always pegged to be more challenging than the last year's but it turned out to be even more testing than expected, with some of the biggest names in motorsport failing to make it to the end. In situations like this, experience can make all the difference, and Rodriguez's cautious approach at the start of the rally paid dividends in the end. He had his sights on the finish line from the very beginning and, crucially, made it a point to avoid any unwarranted incidents. And he managed to exercise caution while also displaying some incredible speed, bagging a whopping seven top 10 finishes for Hero on a course to 11th place overall finish. Bueller did run into some navigational errors in the grueling conditions, but crucially, he showed the ability to keep learning from his mistakes and continue growing in his skills and overall awareness. He ended up finishing 14th overall, securing two top 10 finishes for Hero along the way. This means the team finished 9 out of 12 stages in the top 10, an incredible result in hindsight when you look at just how attrition heavy these stages were. Uh, yeah, it was a tough rally because the last time we left the country last year was because of a very bad situation. So, yeah, it was a mix of emotions, but yeah, I'm very happy to finish the race and in the top 15 of the overall. And with no crashes and yeah also the bike we have a complete new bike and the bike works perfectly so yeah thanks to all the team and yeah to all all the people to for the great help unfortunately cs santosh's dakar 2021 campaign ended early after he suffered a heavy crash on stage four but there is good news the team has since confirmed that he should make a full recovery Having three of its riders make it to the finish line would have been the perfect result for Hero after what transpired last year. But what matters most is the fact that Santosh is in stable condition and we wish him a speedy recovery. The fact that he was on his way to potentially deliver his best result at the Dakar before the incident cut short his run certainly bodes well for the team. It was an emotionally charged event for the entire team having to return to the Dakar rally after the tragic demise of Paolo Gonçalves last year. However, in the run-up to this year's Dakar, team manager Wolfgang Fischer said everyone was determined to put on a good show to honour Gonçalves. And they managed to do so. Yes, I, I finished. That was my goal. I came here for Paulo. And I wanted to finish for him and I did it. So, I'm happy. <laughs> it was really difficult for me. Really, really hard to manage every day, to get out on top of the bike and uh, start every stage. <sighs> this was the race, the di most difficult race of my life. I did it. As the Hero Motorsports team rally looks to the future, it certainly has quite a few positives to take away from the Dakar 2021. Be it the reliability of its new Hero 450 rally bike, the incredible performance of its riders, or even the grit and determination displayed by the whole team. <laughs>